Hey guys, Patrick here from the Smart Passive Success YouTube channel. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the best tracking software for affiliate marketing. And I'm also going to show you how to easily use this software to track your links. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Patrick from Smart Passive Success. Now if you're coming to my channel for the first time, uh, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and also smash that notification bell so you're notified when I'm putting out future videos on my channel. So let's get going guys. So I'm actually on the page here and I'm actually talking about this awesome software which is called Click Magic. I've been using this software for the last two years. Amazing, amazing software. I'm going to show you exactly how to track your links with this software. I'm going to show you exactly how to create campaigns. I'm going to show you also to track your funnels. I'm going to also show you how to test the quality of the traffic that you're tracking with your links. And also, I'm going to show you exactly how you can sign up for Click Magic as an affiliate. Super awesome, guys. I'm super excited. I'm crazy. So I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here today. So I'm going to log into the software and show you exactly how to get these things done. All right. So let me go here and click on the login button. And once I'm inside of the back end, as you see, this is my dashboard for Click Magic quite simple what i love with this software it's very simple to maneuver it has a ton of features right looks very simple but it has a ton of features in the back end so let's get into it so uh we have right here on the bar we have campaigns we have links we have rotators we have tools uh if you want to get more details and you want to learn more about click magic then you can hit the learn uh link here they also have a help button and i'm going to show you exactly how to set up your settings in click magic there are some settings that you need to set when you're using this software and bear in mind that click magic also have a 14 day free trial so if you're looking for a software to test drive the first link in the description you can get full access to a 14 day free trial so let's get going so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you exactly how to create your links so the first thing i'm going to do is click on links and as you see i have a bunch of links right here a uh, bunch of traffic campaigns running because I like to run traffic. I love traffic. All right. So uh, the first thing you do when you're creating a link is you go to create new link and you can select a specific group name, right? I'm going to show you exactly how to create your group name. So stick and stay with me. I'm going to give you all the juicy details on this software. All right. So I'm going to name my link. So I'm going to name my link Clickbank. I'm going to type Clickbank here. And so if I have a ClickBank offer, uh, maybe uh, that ClickBank offer is, you know, three week diet. All right. That could be, um, you know, an offer that I'm promoting. Right. So and I'm going to name this link. Uh, so let's just say three week diet. Now, what I need to do is, uh, is to get my three week diet affiliate link. Right. I'm, uh, I'm just going to use a link for example because you know just for the interest of time i'm just going to copy a link right here or let me use uh, let me see here if i can use another link so let me use this thing here and i'm just going to track this link for example so i'm going to copy and go back over to the click magic software backend i'm going to paste my link here so now i have my affiliate link what I need to do next is click on create. And then once I click on create, uh, my affiliate link has now been created. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that link. And this is my link. In fact, I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger for you. So now I have my three week diet right here and the ClickBank initial. So all I'm going to do is just to click on this word right here. And it will open up a tracking link, right? This is the new tracking link that Click Magic will give me to track my link. So I'm going to test my link. And once you're inside of Click Magic, uh, you can easily uh, test your link by simply clicking on this little glass right here. Go ahead and click on it. And it's going to open up that link inside of a new window. All right. So once it's open up in the new window, I'm going to go over back to click magic and I am going to hit this icon right here to refresh. So now I click on it 
and it's refreshed and now it's showing me uh, one uh, total clicks which is TC and one uni click that's me so I'm gonna click on uni clicks and as you see right here once I click on uni clicks you see my countries right here it shows also the uh, browser that I'm using and it also shows the uh, the Windows 10 operating system that I'm using and it also has my country and my my IP address it also has timestamp so it showed me exactly the time that I clicked on the link all right so that's one aspect of it so now you've seen right here um, how easy it is to create a tracking link now, now this tracking link uh, you can use this tracking link when you're doing your ads if you're doing solo ads if you're doing Google Ads you can simply use this tracking link uh, to promote your ads right and that will give you the amount of clicks you get where these persons are coming from and this will also help you to see your conversions if you set up conversions tracking within click magic all right super awesome so let's just click this off so now I've just shown you exactly you know how to track a link the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a campaign no I'm not sure but I had difficulties back then when I was running my campaigns on Google and Bing Ads because my tracking link would look totally different from my URL my, my let's just say uh, my redirect URL that's the URL that a uh, persons would land on and my ads were always getting banned and so click magic came up with this feature to help persons to create campaigns where you could use your link right you could use your direct link right you use your direct link um, to create a tracking link for your ads especially when you're doing Google Ads uh, YouTube Ads and if you're doing Facebook Ads they want you to use uh, your website and not necessarily a tracking link so I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a tracking link using click magic right so the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to pull up my sales funnels builder right here and I'm going to track a few pages within my sales funnels builder to show you exactly how easy this is All right so let me go ahead and clear this out right here I'm going to log into my sales funnels builder and let me just remove my face right here I'm blocking and I'm going to go log into my HBA funnel builder now what I'm going to do I'm going to track my opt-in page and I'm also going to track my thank you page those are two pages that I want to track so let me just move my guys I'm moving all over the place right here and so I'm gonna log into uh, my sales funnels builder and I'm gonna find those two pages that I want to track so I'm doing some funnel tracking but I'm doing it in such a way that will allow me to track my ads properly using the campaign method in click magic so let me go find my two pages that I want to use and I'm gonna track these two pages that you see right here and I'm gonna click on the page here and open my sales funnel so this is a simple funnel that we're using for a trading company right now the moment I hit this page right here I'm gonna pull up this little icon here and I'm gonna go look for custom code so once I click on custom code I will be able to place my tracking code on this page so I'm gonna go back into click magic I'm gonna go look for campaigns and once I go look for campaigns I'm going to look for website code and then I'm going to hit click tracking code now with click tracking code the click tracking code goes on the first page which is your opt-in page so the opt-in page gets this code first so let me go ahead and copy um, it also is asking you do you want me to also track organic clicks yes you would also want to know uh, which other persons are coming to your page even if you're not running an ad so the organic clicks will be tracked within the software which is really good so let me go ahead and copy to clickboard right here and I'm gonna go back over to my click.org sorry my HBA funnel and I'm gonna control V and it outside the box click and save save right here so now what I've done is place a tracking code on my funnel right to track where these persons are coming from and how many conversions I'm getting from persons who are heading to my capture page that's the first thing now the second thing that I'm gonna do 
here let me see if I can go here I'm gonna do my conversions tracking and my conversions tracking will go right onto my thank you page now I'm gonna give my action a number which is one and I'm also going to copy this link right here so I'm gonna place this link on my thank you page so I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna put a tracking code on this page right here so let me go ahead and click on the gear icon I'm gonna hit custom code and I'm gonna hit page at markup and I'm gonna paste this code right in and now I've just placed two codes on my tracking funnel one on my opt-in page and the other one on my thank you page now let me go back over to the clickmatic software and what I need to do next I need to go copy the link from my opt-in page right here and this is super easy guys this is super super easy once I click on the link I'm gonna copy everything that you see here and I'm gonna place this link right here so I'm gonna click on campaign URL and I think I need to make this a little bit bigger in fact I think this is good I'm gonna hit campaign URL builder right here and I'm gonna paste my link right here this is super awesome now you can use this link you can use your landing page link to run your ads and still get the report back into your click magic this is amazing this is the, the reason why a lot of persons ads are being banned because your tracking link is different from your your URL right which is your your redirect URL now let's just go ahead and name this campaign so I have my URL right here for my page let me go ahead and add my UTM score which is the traffic source I'm going to use Facebook as my traffic source and I'm going to use cost per click you can also use cost per view if you want in this case I'm going to use cost per click since I'm using Facebook as an example and I'm going to name my campaign Teespring uh, promo right and I shorten these words just to make it look really nice now the next thing that I'm going to do is to click on optional CMC parameters and this is important you really don't need to worry about this you can name your project I can say Teespring right here if I want but what's important is your cost per click how much money are you willing to spend on your ad campaign and that's very important if you are willing to spend 50 cents on an ad campaign per click then you need to put that figure right here so at least once you run your campaign when you see how much money you make you would be able to come back into your click magic account to see the numbers how much are you spending compared to how much are you making so let me go here and put a figure so I'm willing to pay 50 cents per click if I'm looking to optimize my ad if I'm getting better results I can either up my budget I can come back into my click magic and up my budget once my campaign is running on these ad platforms now what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go copy all this here and when you're running an ad campaign on these big platforms you know like Quora and Facebook they don't mind you putting in these parameters right once persons click on your link they won't see these parameters fully right so they're, they're not worried about these parameters you can also shorten it if you want but let's just go with the long format what you will be doing is to copy your link right here and place that link into your ad platform to run your ad whether you're doing Google Ads or Facebook Ads or whichever platform you're using um, that requires you to use your your link use your landing page link and so let me see if I can do a test run on this to show you exactly how you get the stats so let me go ahead and you will see here that it's redirected to the page now if you look on the links in the bar and I'm gonna make my screen a little bit bigger right here you will see all the parameters in the link right here all the parameters are here all those trackings are done to make sure that you are getting the correct reading in the app right so let me go back to let me go back to uh, the campaign right here and click on campaign and as you see um, everything is set right here 
on the campaign. It has the visits, the CPC, the EPC, the actions, and the CPC mean cost per clicks, EPC earnings per click, ad spend revenue. So now you see right here, you have all your numbers that will pop out here once you're doing your conversions, right? You also have your source, your medium, your campaign, your term, and your content. So everything that you need to test, you will see the numbers within your backend in your dashboard, right? So now you've seen it. I've shown you exactly how you can simply track your funnel, uh, what's going on in your funnel using the campaign settings in ClickMagic. I've also shown you exactly how to create your links within the platform. Now let me show you exactly how to create uh, groups within click magic so I'm going to click on tool and you simply go all the way down to group manager and then what you do here you can create simple groups so let's just say you're promoting a specific program but you have other links in that program that could be a sales page a thank you page right you can name that link all right so let me go here and test this one I'm gonna put this as Daisy and let me type right here I'm gonna type Daisy and I'm gonna hit this checkbox right here and save it, all right? Now, if I'm gonna create a link for my DAISY program, maybe I have four funnels or three funnels or five funnels, once I'm going to create that link, I can now select my DAISY, I can name my link DAISY sales page, and then I have my slug, so DAISY sales page, and then I paste my daisy sales page link right here and any other link that i create within that platform i can now label that link as daisy it's make it, it makes it easy for you to maneuver the back end because as you're building your business you're go, you're going to be creating hundreds and hundreds of tracking links and so once you're creating hundreds and hundreds of tracking links it's going to get difficult so you always want to make sure that you're labeling your links properly so when you go back into your software, it makes it really easy for you um, to track your links, right? So that, that's the one, another aspect of the tracking software. Now, let's talk a little bit more about uh, traffic. Now, a lot of persons online, they're not getting sales and they're wondering what's happening. They're using poor traffic sources. They're using different methods to get traffic. They're buying clicks. They're using Fiverr and all these different platforms. Now, when you have a tracking software like ClickMagic, you want to make sure that your links and your traffic is coming from the right place. Now, in order to mitigate from that, what ClickMagic does is make sure that whenever you purchase traffic, you get the highest quality traffic. So we block as much bot and server traffic as, as we can. In order for you to block those, you simply go to settings right here. And once you go to settings within the software, you simply click on click filter. And once you click on click filter, you can block um, certain traffic sources that's, that's coming to your link. You can track persons who are clicking on your link um, willingly. You have persons who, are, who get paid to click your links, right? I've known of uh, persons who are selling traffic, but they have persons clicking on your link 10, 15 times. What will happen with ClickMagic, if these persons are clicking on your link too much, you can block them by coming into your ClickMagic settings and block uh, the traffic. No, you can simply click on block for abusers. Persons who are anon, you can block those persons. You can also block bot traffic. You can also block server traffic. You can also block spider, and you can also block user, right? So I normally leave this on, right? No, for persons who are using rotators, persons who are running different traffic sources on their rotators like solar ad vendors, uh, they can also put this in place as well. This is a very, very, very crucial aspect of your marketing because a lot of persons who are buying solar ads, they're not getting the right traffic. Sometimes you are getting bot traffic. And so in order for you to, to pull away from that, you have to make sure that you block these persons. All right, so that's another thing within uh, the Click, uh, Click uh, Magic software. So let me go back to uh, links right here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to test the, the quality of the traffic that you're getting. So this is a campaign that we've been running for the last couple of days uh, within the ClickMagic software. And so uh, what I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how to test the quality of the traffic. So I'm gonna go all the way here to traffic quality. And I think I need to make uh, my screen a little bit bigger right here. Oopsie. All right, so I'm gonna check the quality of the traffic. So I'm gonna click on traffic quality. 
and this is very important, you need to make sure that the traffic is coming from top, top countries. Now, the traffic campaign that I'm running, as you see right here, the traffic quality is very, very, very good, as you see here. Now, I'm getting 91% tier one clicks, right? So it means that my quality score, anything over 75, it means that your traffic is really good. Now, I'm getting 91%. Um, you know, unique clicks from tier one countries. I'm getting 65% uh, mobile clicks uh, from tier two countries. And from proxy clicks, I'm getting merely uh, three clicks from tier three countries. So it's 5% of my clicks are coming from third world countries. So it means that the quality of my traffic is extremely good. And I'm very happy with that because if I'm getting top class clicks um, from my solar ad vendor, it means that my traffic will most likely convert for the best. And that's what I want. That's what I like, right? So that makes me super, super happy, right? So let me click off that. Now you have other reports that you get here within the software. So I just showed you exactly, you know, how to get, you know, your traffic quality uh, test done. I'm going to also show you how to get your daily breakdown if you're tracking your traffic. So once you're checking your daily breakdown, you have the date that you're getting the traffic. Uh, showing the total clicks. It's also showing the uni clicks, right? So at least you can track your traffic campaign to see if your ad is converting or if you need to tweak your ads while you're running your prom promotion, right? So let me click off that. Let me also show you exactly um, how to check your click breakdown. So I'm going to click on click breakdown. And this right here is showing you exactly that you're getting clicks from your uh, primary URL. If you had split URLs, maybe if you're doing uh, AB split testing, if you have a backup URL, let's say you're doing a solo ad campaign and you wanna send a certain amount of clicks to another campaign, or if you fulfill that order, you wanna send that click to another backup URL, you can also do that. Right now in our campaign, we don't have any backup URLs running. We're just running that URL to one simple ad. We're not doing any split testing on that one. So that's another feature within the backend that you can use uh, to track your campaign. Let's take a look at the settings right here by hitting the settings icon, right? You can also add slash import revenue. You can do link notification. You can do split testing, right? And split testing is very simple. If you want to test two landing pages to see which one converts, you can also do that with the software. You can also do copy tracking link. You can do testing tool, all right? Now for the editing as well, you can simply edit your link. You can clone your link. You can archive your link. You can delete your link. Uh, you can edit that link and, and make adjustments to that link that you have. So there's so much things that you can do within the software. And this software is really an amazing one. Now with ClickMagic, they do offer a 14 day free trial. So you can simply go ahead, come in and test the software, play around with the software. You can't really break anything in here. <laughs> Right. If I was to break anything, it would have been broken a long time ago. So you can come in, uh, simply click on the link below to get a full 14 day free trial. Come and test the software, see if you like it. And if you do like the software, then you can use it to build your business. Now, before I actually close off on this one as well, uh, you can also get full access to the affiliate program. Uh, the affiliate programs pay you 35% uh, percent per sale um, to get access. Once you sign up your account and you have your account running, you can simply click on the affiliate program right here and get started as well. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope you got some value from this. I hope that you smash that like button below and also hit the subscribe button. Smash that notification bell because I'm coming out with future videos to surprise you. And so thank you so very much for watching. This is your boy Patrick from Smart Passive Success. Send peace out and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.